This video will show you how to submit to an exam that is using Gradescope, specifically a Gradescope variable length assessment. This is where you write your work by hand, scan it on your phone, and then upload a file to Gradescope. On the morning of your exam, you will be able to access Gradescope through the normal area, through the Take Home Exams 2021 area on your course. And there you will find an exam folder which will include a link to Gradescope and possibly other information as well. But clicking on this link will open Gradescope in a new browser window. You will see any Gradescope assessments that are available on that particular course. You will see how long you have left to submit. Click on the name of the assessment to open it up and you will see certain information here, in particular the due date and how long you have to complete the exam once you start and further information here about the assessment. Once you click start assignment, that's when the timer begins. So you've now started the assignment and at this point you are able to download the exam paper as a PDF. So you download the exam paper and now you're ready to start the exam and you don't have to stay logged into Gradescope except you may find it's in your interest to do so because up in the top right hand corner here you've got a clock telling you how long you've got to, remaining to complete your work. You will now answer all the exam questions on paper, writing by hand. When you've finished, you will need to use an app on your phone to scan the pages that you've written into a single PDF document. At that point, if you want to, you can log into Blackboard on your phone and go through to Gradescope and submit your PDF from your phone. Gradescope allows you to be logged in both on a laptop or a PC and at the same time on a phone or another device. You don't have to log out of Gradescope on your laptop in order to submit on your phone. Alternatively, you may prefer to submit on your laptop, in which case when you've scanned your work, save it to your University of Reading OneDrive and then submit it from here. You'll click on Submit PDF, select PDF, go to the folder where you stored your scan, select it and upload. At this point note that the file has been submitted and you've got a submission time. You now need to assign questions and pages. That is to say you need to mark on which page you have answered each question. Please note that this operation is not counted as part of your overall time unless you decide to go back and submit another file. So select the questions and then select the page. By holding down shift you can select more than one question. And when you've finished press submit. You now get a submission receipt on screen to show that you have submitted successfully and a copy of this will be emailed to your University of Reading email address. Notice that you can resubmit if you need to, but if you do decide to resubmit, the original timer will still be running. If you don't need to resubmit, you can now close Gradescope and relax.